Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelated Apollo and welcome back to World War 1. This is another battle replay of the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War. You guys really enjoyed the uh, the first battle, which is awesome. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a link in the description. But a lot of you guys wanted to see an epic tank battle, so that is what we are going to be doing today. I am commanding the French and I've got about 10 tanks in my army. I'm also bringing some infantry and some artillery on the flanks just to make it a little bit more chaotic and interesting. So today we are taking on the German Empire. The Germans have a very similar army. They are bringing 10 tanks. He's got his infantry in the center and of course we've got the artillery on the flanks. Now before we get started with this battle I do want to let you guys know that I am aware of the annotations breaking on my channel. I think YouTube is updating their website and it just messed with all my annotations which is really frustrating because because I have like hundreds of videos with an very important annotations. Uh, it's the skip to battle annotation, which takes you to the start of the battle. A lot of you guys rely on that. And unfortunately, instead of taking you to the start of the battle, it's taking you to the beginning of the video, which I can understand that is super frustrating. So I contact YouTube. Hopefully they fix it soon. Be patient, guys. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't have to go back and fix all of them because that is a ton of videos. Anyways, let's uh, let's start this battle. Enough talk. Let's get ready for the slaughter. My artillery. Yeah, getting ready to fire. I don't know what kind of sound I made there. Yeah, yeah, get, yeah fire that artillery. Uh, the French uh, crew uniforms here look awesome. I love the detail in this mod, and the artillery pieces look really cool. It's very industrial. So uh, let's go ahead and check out my army comp. We do have some time before the tanks meet in the middle. So starting with my artillery, I've got four units, two on this flank and two on the other flank of field guns. It's going to be pretty awesome hearing the screaming artillery. And then for my tanks, I've got uh, or six units of the Mark II uh, male tank. So they're in the front lines rolling forward. And then right here I've got four units of the Mark II female tanks. The difference between male tanks and female tanks is that male tanks have cannons and the female tanks have like machine guns, like turrets. And then for the center, my infantry, I've got the rifle infantry with the classic blue uniforms. I love the French uniforms. Very nice. Very sexy. So they're going to be uh, looking pretty beautiful as they charge into the center. A very glorious fight here today with lots of metal, steel, gunpowder, death and destruction. Alright, anyways, let's look at the German Empire. So for his rifle force, he's just got rifle infantry. This is what they look like. Again, the Germans looking really cool. Love the German uniforms in World War One and World War Two. He's bringing about six units of the A7V male tank. It's a very boxy looking tank. And then the Germans have two units of the Mark II female tank. Very nice. Uh, I love the logos and such on it. Very, uh, very death looking. Very awesome. And uh, we've got more male tanks over here. I think the Germans are also bringing some female. Uh, oh, I just wrecked that tank and it disappeared. <laughs> there it goes. See how the track is destroyed? That is awesome. My artillery direct hit. The crew is dead. Uh, but yeah, he's also bringing the A7V female tanks. Hopefully this isn't too loud. I made sure to, to lower it a little bit. Uh, but you know what? This is war, and war is loud, okay? Even if it's, you know, painfully louder than my commentary. Alright, so now this is where I'm running up some French infantry. This is really cool seeing the tanks and the infantry together. Uh, I'm setting them forward because I noticed that the, uh, the Germans are also moving up their infantry with their tanks. And uh, the funny thing about this mod- Oh, there's another direct hit. Oh, but I didn't take it out. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's still going. Oh my god, I just hit it again. <laughs> and it's still going. Or is it destroyed? I can't tell. It's hard to tell if you destroyed a tank in this mod, to be honest. Uh, but I've got my tanks in the front line. This tank's very camouflaged. This is awesome. So let's see if he, if he can get a nice volley off. Oh, I see a lot of explosions back there. Uh, I just love seeing the tanks roll up like this. Uh, so I've got my male tank. He is sending forward his infantry. Oh, there we go. There's a nice uh, round from the tank. I need to send forward my female tank. Here we go. The female tank is now firing the machine guns right into that infantry. And watch this, guys. If you look at the infantry, look at the blood splatter. I am just wrecking this unit of rifle infantry. Artillery in the background. 
Oh, they are getting destroyed from my female tank. And of course, I've also got my uh, my infantry in the back there firing. So I am just destroying this rifle infantry. Good support from the female tanks. And this is why I wanted to bring infantry so I could just melt them with my female tanks. Oh my god, could you imagine being in the middle of this battlefield with the artillery and tanks just going crazy? That would be, uh, that would be pretty, it would be pretty scary. Yeah, so, little, little funny thing about this mod, when you destroy a tank, man, this is, this is really loud, I bet this is just really loud, uh, but when you destroy a tank, the crew turns invisible. So this is what we're seeing right here, an invisible crew just charging in. Man, that, that artillery is just screaming by. Here's another female tank. Oh, just shredding these guys. They are... Oh. The blood is spraying everywhere. And they are breaking from the fight. Like, they've got too many tanks. Fall back. Chanel, Chanel. <laughs> what, are, what are you aiming at? You're aiming the wrong way. I guess this tank is destroyed. I'm Again, I'm... It is really hard to tell if you destroyed a tank or not. Because it kind of just looks the same, but you can't move it. You know, sometimes they have like a, a broken trap. Oh! Did that tank just get hit there? I'm not sure. He's got a nice tree in front of him. Maybe he's just shooting the tree in front of him. It's like, come on, man. There you go. Get out of there. Yeah, there. Get, get out of it. Get away from that tree. Rifle infantry. Oh. The, the ground, it's like a massive earthquake over here. Here's the point of view from these rifles. Looks like they're going to try to fire at some German infantry back there. Come on. Where, where are you aiming at? There you go. There they go. Oh, they're going after the invisible tank crew. So there they go again, charging in the invisible crew. Yeah, that's one thing I don't really like about that mod, or about this mod, is just like the crew is still alive even though you destroy the tank and they're invisible and they charge forward. It's a little distracting. I even have some destroyed crew uh, units charging forward which are invisible. Yeah, see, more, more invisible crew charging this way. We got the female tank over here, the uh, A7V female tank, putting some pressure on, uh, on my crew over there. We got a lot of destroyed German tanks over here. Oh, here's a destroyed uh, Mark II. Oh man, look at look at there. He, there he just got wrecked. The interior is just destroyed. The integrity of that tank is just gone. I'm moving up my female tank on this flank here. It is a little hard to tell what's going on because you can't really see the tanks super clear. Uh, but we are doing pretty well so far. Uh, my female tanks are just doing a great job at just cutting down the infantry and my male tanks Oh, look at look at him slide pla past this tree. Oh, there we go. There's a volley. The male tanks are doing great They are doing great putting a lot of pressure on the enemy And it's just like this battlefield is just screaming with artillery. There we go. There's another volley. Oh You see it land? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the tanks well, maybe they fired in a, a pretty large arc like that. I really don't know. Uh, I, I, you know, unfortunately, I don't know as much of World War One compared to most wars, which is really tragic. Uh, but I love learning about it. Uh, there is a really great channel called The Great War. Oh, jeez! Oh, my men are getting hit by my own tank. What the heck? My female tank firing at something in got some friendly fire over there uh, but anyways before I was distracted by the disgusting friendly fire uh, so there's a channel called the Great War they they what they do is they they actually play out the war and show you what's going on week by week um, so check it out there's a link in the description uh, description words are hard today <laughs> it's just the screaming artillery I can't I can't concentrate so this is where I'm charging in my infantry because most of the German tanks have been taken out by my artillery. Ooh, that tank is going for my rifle infantry. Oh, I, th I think the tanks are falling back here. It's pretty funny. If you listen to the tanks carefully, you, c you can actually hear like, it sounds like a horse pulling artillery. So I always have like a Flintstone kind of vision of like a horse inside the tank moving, you know, moving the tank forward. There's another volley. Oh, right in the back of my rifles. 
Fire rifles. I'm not sure what you're firing at, but good luck. If it's at a tank, you're going to do like zero damage. Maybe they're just holding their ground. Man, this is this is brutally loud. Brutally loud. I'll just uh, I'll be sure to turn down the game sound compared to my uh, voice. Hopefully that will fix that. So my tanks are also pretty much destroyed. If you look across the battlefield, this Mark uh, Mark II has been uh, crushed. Uh, I've also got a lot of tanks over in this tree line that have been destroyed. It's been a messy fight. Uh, I do have a couple male tanks moving forward. A lot of their artillery is open for uh, attack because their infantry has been destroyed. And I think this is what's left of their of their two tanks. They've got some uh, two male tanks. And I, I really don't have an answer for it. Most of my male tanks have been destroyed. And I'm trying to focus my artillery over here to try to, you know, snipe them out with my artillery. But I'm really not having that great of luck. Oh, there's a volley. Let's see it land. Oof. My infantry is just kind of waiting. It's like, wait, men. Wait, hold. Before we charge, we have to take out those tanks. Oh, my God. People losing limbs. Look at all the craters in the battlefield. Oof. Men are just trying to hide behind trees. Oh, that was a direct hit. But it, Oh, it killed... Does this guy die? Or is he going to get back? Oh, he died. Somebody get a medic. Oh, my. Where are they firing at? What are they firing at? Uh, maybe it was just a misfire. You got to keep your finger off the trigger. <laughs> you never know when you just might accidentally hit the trigger. All right, finally, I've got a male tank getting in position. I am going to uh, fire at him very soon. Here we go. Come on, put some flanking fire in that tank. Come on, hurry. We got to take out that tank position and then we can move forward to take out the artillery there we go let's see if that if we get a hit here oh so close and then land, it landed right in between them uh, this mod is so much fun like it is so much i highly recommend you download this guys it's very easy to download uh, you will have a lot of fun even just fighting the ai it is just insane my rifle infantry they're just so desperate for any kind of solution. They are now firing at the tanks, even though the bullets are just ricocheting off. The artillery is res relentless on their position. They're desperate. They're hoping for the, the, the friendly tanks to, to finish, the finish the job. I do have some rifle infantry that I was flanking around. If you look, I went around this way. I'm now gonna go after the, uh, the enemy field guns. I went for a charge there. But unfortunately, when I charged them, they actually went for the tank instead. I don't I don't want them to do that. I want them to take out the artillery here. Come on. Fire. Fire. They are tired, but this is very important if they want to save their brothers in arms. Come on. There we go. And I'm just wrecking. Oh, this this uh, artillery piece is really camouflaged. Oh, man. The unit detail in the German artillery. Look at this. The field guns over here. Oh, they are getting shot to death over here. This is great. Run, Schnell! <laughs> and there we go. Still firing at the tanks, but yeah, don't do that, French uh, riflemen, that you're not going to get a lot done. I'm going to continue to push down this way and try to take out those guns here. Pretty soon, I give the command. This is the command right here. I'm going to charge in my rifle infantry. Move up. Even though I did not take out those two tanks over there, we have to push forward. We got to finish this battle. Look at we're running past all the destroyed tanks. This battlefield is just a mess. Running through the trees. Come on, French. Do not be afraid. Oh, the tanks hitting our infantry hard. See, this is why I brought infantry just for like epic moments like this. You know, when they get hit in the flank there from the tanks. Oh, there goes another cannon there. Almost hitting our men. Man, my troops have like... They they are they are not phased at all. They Nobody seems to, to like... I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. They just... They're not scared of some uh, tank fire whatsoever. They're just going to keep pushing. Nobody... Uh, nobody... Uh, nobody is running. <laughs> Oh, man. Sometimes I just, like, don't know what I'm talking about. All right. So, I'm getting pretty close. I I am actually in range. So, pretty soon I'm going to put some uh, pretty uh, big suppressing fire on the uh, German artillery. Oh. 
take it out. Hurry up. My poor infantry have suffered so many casualties. My tanks are virtually all gone. They have been all destroyed. Uh, I still have the female tank over here. Not sure if the female tank will do any damage against the uh, the male tank. Or any tank, that is. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I am killing some people in here. Oh, here comes another volley into my infantry. Oh, right in the center of the unit. It didn't kill anyone, though. So I'm really glad I got my men spaced out here. I am killing the general over here. He is dead. Took out the German uh, general. And the artillery is now running for their lives. They're like, quick, get on, the get on the horses. Get this artillery out of here. It's too expensive to lose to the enemy. Oh, jeez, I am mowing them down. That was nasty. That was nasty. So they're, they're down to one artillery piece. And my artillery is firing down in their position, supporting the infantry. And that is going to be the last of this artillery. Yes, a glorious victory. Uh, I think the tanks over here, they, they gave up. They surrendered. We did finally destroy this one. And uh, that's going to be it for the battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was pretty epic. A lot of tanks there. Um, if you want to see more tanks, I will happily do, like, I'll just add more armies and just full of tanks. I would love to do that. Uh, but I thought that was pretty cool to mix the artillery and the infantry in there as well. So, uh, if we look at the stats here, I killed a ton more than he did. The AI is pretty stupid, but, you know, it's still really fun to watch. Uh, my tanks, let's see, my artillery, not getting a ton of kills, actually. Which is really kind of surprising. Uh, but my female tank, my two female tanks, 149 and 233. That was, uh, that was the two tanks that took out that uh, German infantry. So here's the uh, other stats right here. So it wasn't like a full of like death kind of battle, but it was very chaotic. And uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. And for those of you who made it to the very end of this video, I just want to thank you guys so much. We have reached 90k. The milestone of 90k. We are 10k away from 100k, which is unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. And you know what's really funny is that the same day that I I hit the 90k milestone, I hit 91k at the very end of the day. So I think I got like 1,200 subscribers in one day, which is a personal record. So... I am so thankful for your support. This is just a dream come true. It means so much to me, guys. I hope you are enjoying my videos. I hope you. I hope I am entertaining you guys. And, of course, I hope to continue to produce uh, more great videos. So, uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.